Hey, so last video we made this volleyball you can hit, but we have infinitely long arms, and we're always hitting it with the same power. So we're going to use uh, an absolute value function, or really any function you want, to change the power based on how far we are. So if you've played volleyball before, really just played with a ball before, um, if the ball is far from you and you can barely reach it, you're going to have not much power to hit it. Also, if it's really close, if it's like right next to your face, you're also not going to hit it hard. So the strongest, most highest power spot is, is a few feet in front of you. And we're going to make a function to make this, more, this game more volleyball-like. So right now, get power is 10. And we're going to fix that. So say we have this graph, and this direction is how far the volleyball is from us. So right here, it's right next to us. Here, it's like two feet in front of us, four feet in front of us. I kind of want something like this, okay? So there comes a point here where, okay, it's too far in front of us. If it's any farther, then we're just going to have zero power, because y is our power. So right here is the strongest place we can hit. And if it's right in front of us, we don't give much power. If it's pretty far in front of us, we don't give much power. So there's a lot of different shapes you could go with. You could go with something like this. You could go with something like this. I'm going to go with something very simple. It's just going to be an absolute value function like this. And I'm going to want this to be from 0 to 1. So the lowest point is y is 0. This highest point is y is 1. And let's say right here is three units in front of us. So that makes this point three zero. So if this is the origin, that makes this three zero and that makes this six zero. So in the get power function, we just need to take the distance of us to the volleyball and calculate some y value. So I'm going to say the ideal distance is 3, and the max power is going to be 10. So first our x value is going to be that distance, so it's vector 3, the distance between the volleyball and us. The y value is going to be an absolute value function, so abs of x. So just absolute value of x looks like this, so we're going to make it negative to flip it around. Negative. And you'll notice the highest point isn't 0, the highest point is 1, so I'm going to add 1, plus 1. And it's not centered on x is 0, it's centered on x is 3. So right here, if x is 3, we need to pretend as though it were 0. So 3 minus 3 is 0, but I'm just going to do ideal distance, which is 3. And finally, this part may not be as clear, but if this is 0, 0, and this is 3, 0, there's a slope of 1 third. And naturally, the absolute value is, is a slope of 1. So we need to make this less slanty. And we're just going to divide by 3. So now we've got our y. So now we can calculate our power. It's going to be y times max power. Except our y can be less than 0. We don't want to have a negative power. If, these, if this happens, we actually want to flatten it out and always have 0 instead. So we're going to clamp this value. We're going to use power. The minimum is a 0, and then max is max power. And finally, we're just going to return that value. So if we save that, press play. OK, so if I try to hit the ball when it's up there, it doesn't work. It's too far. And if I hit it right out of my range, it doesn't move a lot. Okay, but if I hit it close to me, then it's going to get a lot more power. So that's good. It's working. Some final thoughts just to make this easier. 
You might want to put your mouse look to negative 80 and 80 so you can look up and down more. Or you can change your, your movement speed. You can also click on your main camera and change the field of view to maybe a bit more and you'll see more. So that is how you make a volleyball, basic volleyball. This is hard. <laughs> this is hard.